Aunt Chu gets emotional talking about what happened last month when scammers took her money and stole her trust. I was at work and I was having lunch. It began with an innocent phone call claiming to come from her bank. This is CIBC fraud department and did you spend this this money? And this is how everything went from there. Anne has been a CIBC customer for 40 years. That caller said someone at the branch was stealing. A teller or the manager who's hmm. selling you out. The caller said he was a bank fraud investigator and needed her help. Somehow nearly $8,000 was transferred from her line of credit to her bank account. She was told to go to the bank and get it out. I would like to withdraw $7,800. No question asked. The scammer told her to go buy Apple gift cards. She bought them at this supermarket and this drugstore and two dollar stores. And then over the phone, the caller cashed in. And I had no clue about these gift cards. So I gave them the PIN number. Between that money and a draw on her credit card, she lost a lot. So more than $14,000 in total. Mm. Yeah. CIBC told us it's working with the customer and said it will never ask a client to assist in a fraud investigation or request money to be sent via cryptocurrencies, gift cards, or electronic money transfers. Well, that's kind of what Anne's saying. husband says you know, it's important to get the word out. We just need to start telling everybody about it. Beware, beware, beware. The husband and wife small business owners are trying to put this loss behind them, wanting to inform others about what happened to them, warning others to be vigilant. If you want to speak to your bank, make the call yourself. Don't trust someone calling you. Sean O'Shea, Global News, Markham.